Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back along to another episode of The Young Farmer here. My name is Andy. As always, I do hope you're doing very well today. You join me out in the 660 Aryan once again. And this time, we've got a new... Temporary new bit of equipment for us. Uh, this is a rake that we've hired in for the summer. Uh, I wanted to try and purchase one. I just couldn't find anything good enough. Uh, uh, but also, crucially, cheap enough. Uh, so we, we leased one from Kuhn. This is a pretty smart looking rake actually. And uh, quite a robust looking thing to boot. So what we're going to do is keep this for about six weeks. Uh, that's how long we've got that hired for at the moment. And we'll see if we need to increase that higher at all. Uh, okay, I'll lift up there. Uh, but yeah, it's ultimately it's a very smart bit of kit there. It is brand new to us on hire. Uh, so it hasn't had any work done to it before, which is pretty cool. Uh, it looks really nice and it, yeah, it's about 8.8 .8 meters wide working with A um, few things I like about it. Additionally, uh, or originally I was looking to try and get a, um, a crone Couldn't find one again that was kind of in my price range So we had to settle for this now. It's not too bad What we are doing is just finishing up the second field of clover that we mowed down yesterday uh, We're gonna get this raked up. We're not bailing this the farmer have around baler uh, But we've got a very busy day ahead of ourselves um, we're going to finish raking this, which will take us ooh, but about five minutes. Then we're going to hurry on back over to our yard where we'll uh, drop off the baler. Drop off the rake, beg your pardon. Um, and then, then, would you believe it or not, we're getting the combine out. We are going to, you may mention, remember, I actually reviewed the grass seeds in the field just down the hill there. Well, we're actually going to get stuck into that. Uh, which is rather interesting. So we're going to get that raked. Uh, we're going to get that, that combine pulled over. There's two fields to do, not very big, about 12 acres in total. Uh, maybe 15. But what it will do is allow us to have a bit of a start with our... Uh, with with the equipment there, to kind of figure it all out, see what we think, and then we'll be able to take it from there, really, see how the grass seeds go. It's going to be an ideal opportunity just to get the combine bedded in properly, uh, have a bit of a play around with it. So. When it was damped this morning there, I took the header up to the first field, so that's already up there. We're using the tractor and trailer from the farm as well. So all we've got to really do is bring over the bumblebee and get going with it. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, and then the farm is going to bail us up and we're going to, we might not get this bit recorded today, but we're going to come in and get this all wrapped up as well. So lots to do and we should get cracking with it very shortly. But yeah, it's going to be busy. Can't wait to get stuck into it. Uh, very happy to be able to bring you along. Uh, once we get this... Uh, last pass done up the top there. We'll go and just have a quick look at the rake. Which has some very... I've tuned in the hydraulic pressures on the pump here. Uh, a very quick uh, lifting speed there, which is great. Lifts up nice and high as well, so we clear the, the top of the swaths here, which is always what you want to see when you when you turn around. And yeah, it's, it's looking like a very nice uh, rake. But yeah, like I say, oh, we're looking good here, actually. Let's just knock it off then, and then we'll head back on down to the other end. Well, we'll just be able to kind of take stock. And we did the other field there before as well, so that's all done and dusted. Uh, and now we'll just be able to get, kind of get ourselves out of here, really. But as you can see, yeah, very nice. The best thing I like about this rake that I haven't seen from many others is the locking mechanism, which is a lot easier. A lot of them still have like a, a rope tie mechanism, which is really annoying. Uh, but not this one, so that's something that I do really quite like about it. Uh, I'm just going to stop about here. So as I turn around, as we lift it up there, go. you'll see that it just locks those pins into place, which is great. Lowers down the height of the rotors as well, uh, but locks it in so I don't have to put any pins in, I don't have to pull any latches or anything like that. It's all done with one easy movement. Which is rather good. And yeah, ultimately so far from... I mean, I've only done a few, few acres here. But yeah, it's impressive. Very impressive. Now, this is one of the fields just over the road there that we're going to come to. We're going to start in the field further up the hill, though. Uh, so we'll get to that one. What we're going to do... Is probably wait for that bus that's herring up the hill here as well. But their farmer's going to come in and get that all bailed now anyway. And what we'll do is just take ourselves back on over to the farm and we'll catch up when we're over there, I think. So we'll see you back at the yard. Okay, so back at the yard here, we're just going to swing on in. Uh, a little bit of moving around to do. Still haven't put those pallets of uh, twine away, which I need to do at some point, but I haven't really stu um, stood still since we last spoke. 
Uh, I'm just gonna creep around here. You'll see the combine was moved out of the shed. I pulled that out just so I could get in really with the uh, uh, to get the header trailer out there this morning. Now where are we gonna stick this? Good question. Let's it forward a little bit. As you can see, the work on the shed has yet to start. Uh, it's going to be in the next couple of days, but hoping that they can get in whilst, uh, whilst I'm not here, really, so while all the big equipment is gone. That would be ideal, give them a little bit more space to work with. I think that's tucked into here for now. Wonderful. Nailed it first time. Turn that off because we're going to be disconnecting the PTO here. Yeah, excellent stuff. So we do need to do a little bit of moving around. What we'll probably do is get that all done now, actually, I think. Uh, lighthouse is looking stunning today. Absolutely beautiful up there. Uh, need to just get into the wrapper. So we'll just quickly shift this out the way. I think the, uh, the bale twine is going to go into there as well, actually. Once we're all said and done. I hope you're all doing very well anyway. Whatever you're getting up to, do let us know down below. Uh, if you are in the silage and the hay, whatever you're getting up to, let us know. Uh, very interested as always. Uh, let's just stick this where the baler is. Since we were last here. Put that bit. Since we were last here, we have replaced a few blades on the uh, mower. The, the little, those two fields that we've just done really did shine it all up a little bit there, made it uh, a little easier to see which ones need to be done. Uh, and so that's all kind of taken care of. You'll notice on the front of the Axion, we have our net wrap holder now, uh, which holds, that has eight wraps on there, which would be more than enough. I don't really think I need to put all eight on, but such is life, that's what we've got. Uh, I think you'll find that uh, uh, that looks pretty darn stunning, really, as it is there right now. I certainly think so, anyway. Um, and yeah, so we'll just quickly go put the Aryan onto the wrapper. And then that's all done just a bit. I can't imagine there'll be many more than kind of four... Uh, four, maybe at best five bales an acre off of the clover that he's doing there. Uh, perhaps even lower than four, but uh, it won't take me too long to do. And neither will the this uh, the grass seeds that we're going to go and harvest. So it's just a case of having to go with it, really, and taking the time whilst it's uh, ready, fit and ready. Might as well kind of strike, really. All right. So that wrapper needs a bit of TLC this winter, actually, I think. We need to get that kind of painted up. But that can stay there for now. Now it's the moment that we've been waiting for, really. We'll go and take the combine out. Now, I do also have another job lined up. Um, we're taking on that job that we showed you the other day. There. It's going to be square baled hay. Uh, so that should be a good start. Let's get into the old girl. That for a view. Yes, here we go, people. All right then. So, it's greased up, it's fueled up, it's ready to and raring to go. All we need to do really is take it on over to the other side of the valley here, so we can get ourselves away. Oh, there. Fairly decent sized yard, but uh, this still makes it feel a little bit small sometimes. Alright, and we are off.
All right then, we are away. So, let's just take us up around the yard here. Now, like I say, we don't need to bring our own tractor and trailer. That is already over at the, uh, we've got to use the farmers there because I can't imagine there being too many uh, too much coming off here because it's not too big a field uh, so we've got everything we need lined up there uh, and away we go perfect stuff need to come in and actually just level a bit of this out because it's still not quite as I would like it to be there it's a bit of a drop now this is where it gets awfully tight if you remember from the last time out we do have to be a little little uh, precise as we come down this hill uh, but not to worry there's nothing coming down there because we certainly can't get up that way that's too way too tight stay over that side of it towards the hedge there and we're golden Days. Excellent stuff. So this is a little bit earlier than the combine would usually come out. The reason being it is the grassy there, so it's at this point the grass has dried out pretty considerably. We've had a week of really intense uh, hot weather, uh, which has really accelerated on. So the seed is there, ready to come off. Uh, if you leave it too much longer there, the seed itself will just fall to the deck. You won't be able to salvage it. Uh, so it, it would be a bit of a waste that way. If you do it this way, at least you can get both. Uh, from a, uh, a fodder standpoint as well, obviously you'll be able to... Uh, we're going to swath that. And we're going to get it um, bailed up as well at some point. Now, I don't know if they wrap that. I don't know if they just uh, leave it on the deck to dry out for a little bit and uh, bail it as hay. I'll have to figure out what they do. Ooh. Up the road. Sorry, that. And off we go. Get some lights on as well, just so people can really see me coming. But we are away. First combining of the season, uh, in which I said delighted that it's in the uh, uh, a little small lake where it's really first, just so we can kind of get things dialed in a little bit there, because it's a different cereal type that I've never really uh, worked with before there. Go. Ahead. Have a little bit of play around with the fan speed and the uh, the, the concave speed uh, distance just to get everything set up working properly. Hello, go with that guy. Hello, sir. How are you today? Perfect. Now, unfortunately, it does mean that we're going to have to take a, a wee trip through town at the moment. Not ideal, but... Um, Hopefully it's quiet enough, it's midday, so that's going to be uh, fun. We'll do what we can. Oh, the car's coming into town. No, we're looking good there now. Can't go that way either, because that road is kind of restricted by roadworks at the moment, so it makes it nigh impossible to get this through. Okay, we'll see. Now what we'll do, we're going to take ourselves through town here, we'll get ourselves up towards the main yard. Uh, and then we'll bring in on a ride to do that first field there. To be honest, that first field is not going to take too long to do at all. Uh, let's just keep our speed in check down here. Would you believe it or not, this could actually get a speed and come through here. It's, got, uh, it's just fast enough, or it would be. Wave to the officers, hello. That wasn't too bad, actually. I mean, no, we're not fully through yet, but I'll take that. Get to show off all the residents in town by the shiny new combine, ready to go. Oh, Lord, let's get over the road there, though. Ooh, heavens above. Okay. 
and there comes a neighbour. Hello! They do like the speed traps around here, that is for sure. That's a lot of different speed cameras. Well, we're out of the thick of it now anyway, so we're just going to get ourselves away up the hill. Uh, it doesn't look like the farmer's stuck into his uh, bale in there yet, but hey-ho. That's his problem now. And then hopefully later, like I say, I get that rattled out and we can get him with the uh, with the wrapper there nice and quickly. We will come down to this field as well. Shouldn't take us too long to get that top one done. Uh, but yeah, very much looking forward to seeing how this all progresses, really. I did leave the header trailer up here earlier. So we should be able to get hooked up straight away and uh, get going. Now I go and find the tractor and trailer, which he says is parked in the yard. So uh, we'll have a look into that one. A very thin looking crop of uh, clover there, but apparently that's fairly usual. Uh, we'll see how it... I guess I'll, I'll be curious to see uh, what it's like from a nutritional value. To check back in with the, with the farmer at some point. I tried to get it turned on as much of an angle so I don't flatten anything when I come in, but I kind of just about got it done there. Ooh, can I get it first time round? Not quite, put a little cut in there. Okay, let's get this all kind of hooked up. Video on. Okay, so should be all good. We'll lift that up. I'm going to take us all back nice and gently. Open the bin lids up as well. Uh, Well, folks, I think we're about ready to go. We're just going to raise up the real height a little bit. Uh, we've got the swath of set. Going to let that tick over for just a little while. Everything seems to be running through. Wonderful. Everything was serviced on this header when, before we picked it up there. And just look at the condition on the front of it. It's stunning. All right, I think we're good to go. And we are away. I'll lift up a little bit. It's weird coming through, cutting this. It is still very green in the bottom, so it's uh, not something you usually see. Now, what that is going to mean, it's going to be a little bit wetter in there. I think a little bit damper, really. Uh, so it might bring its own troubles that way, but all we can do is certainly give it a go. Uh, I have got the fan speed up quite high, just to see how it works to begin with, how it separates the grass seed away from the the, the material there as it goes through. Um, but yeah, so far at least, it seems to be coming. Uh, and like I say, yeah, if we're going to swath it all up there, we'll see. I mean, at that point it's up to the farmer if they want to keep it in the swath and just bale it straight up. I don't know if they will... I've, I've heard of people baling and wrapping this straw as a, a haylage almost. Uh, yeah, it's entirely up to them, but very green underneath there. It looks like it's almost a failed crop of barley, which has been undersown with grass, to be honest. But uh, hey, we'll see how we get on there. All signs are pointing to it being looking pretty good. We've got grass seed coming in. That's the main thing. Wonderful. So I can certainly tick this off the list of something new. I uh, never really got around to doing anything like this before, so that's always pretty exciting. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, get this done. This field won't take long to do at all, maybe 40 minutes if that really. Um, and then we'll get everything unhooked, take it on down the hill there to that other field that we passed next to the clover, and then we'll be on again. So, looking good, plenty to get cracking with. Uh, and I'm quite curious to see what this looks like once we finish the first pass there actually. But uh, yeah, so far so good. I love the first time out in the combine, it's always very exciting. This is a little bit different because it's a completely different crop, but yeah. Oh, it's always good. 
Now, because I brought the combine out now, no doubt we'll get about four months of rain solid now, because the combines are always a bit of a rainmaker. Some stuff. So do let us know down below if you have ever harvested field grass as well. If you've uh, if you've got it on your own farm on your own setup there, see what we'll love to know, get your experience and how it works, that so your best practices with it, and what you end up using all the straw for as well. Like I say, it's something that is very unknown to me, and as a result, very intriguing as well. Oh, come on, there you go, Andy. Let's get it all done properly here. Oh, a few days. Wonderful stuff. Now you can, I know you can get shellborn stripper headers, which would just come in through here and whittle off the, uh, uh, the, the top kind of inch or so. Take off this, the, the, the seed or the grain even if you put it through um, a regular crop and leave the, uh, the rest of the uh, stalk intact there, but sometimes if you're in this case here, yeah, obviously that's not gonna be very preferable because we want to uh, harvest the Want to get that fodder for the animals as well there. So that's always another level That seems to be going pretty darn well. We'll get up to the end here and we'll turn around We'll have a proper look and see how we're getting on Well then First of all look at the, the clean cut finish we've got here apart from the bit that I missed there obviously uh, But yeah, look at it coming through the the swath that we're leaving behind there is very light. It actually gets um, pulled through in relatively good condition through the um, through the New Holland there, and yeah, it's looking fantastic. So it is quite a heavy-looking swath as well. As we come into the crop, you can see it is pretty darn thick. Uh, so yeah, that is rather interesting. Now what we're going to do, leave that ticking over there for a moment. We're just going to go and pop into the yard where apparently the uh, tractor trailer is awaiting, and that looks like it's it there. Uh, let's just hop over the fence. Oh, there you go. Uh, we're going to take this. This is the wrong color tractor, but never mind. It's a 6155M. Uh, Marshall trailer decked out very much like an old Ken Wooten, if you remember those. Now we don't need to empty now. I'm just going to bring it into the field so we have it and I don't need to worry about it. Although the curiosity in me would like to see what the... Uh, the, the, the seed quality is like in there actually, so we might just empty that out. And we want to go. Perfect stuff. All right, so this is going to be a set for a little while, I guess. Uh, play you get cracking along with. Just going to pull out the header here. We've got probably about, uh, I would say, a good third of a tank, maybe a little bit more. But we'll just chuck this into here and see how clean a sample it is, see if we need to change anything. Uh, we might want to have a little bit of a look at changing around some of the um, span speeds, the separation speed, really. Oh. Okay. That looks pretty clean. That looks pretty clean indeed. So with that, we're going to jump back in here. We're going to fire everything back up. And then we are... We're going to get it cracking. Uh, put everything in gear. And off we go. So yeah, we're going to get this little finished up here. And then we'll move on to the wrapping this afternoon there. So lots to get cracking with. We'll bring you up to speed over the course of the next few videos as well. Of how this all goes and finishes up. Uh, and we'll see where we get going from there. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I have been Andy, your young farmer. If you haven't done so already, do hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button to join Simulation for the Nation who kindly hosts everything. And we will see you in the next one. Until then, though, have yourself a good day. Stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. And we'll see you later.